The route to success in Formula One isn't the same for everyone. Some drivers begin quietly, gradually climbing the ladder and then begin winning races after a few seasons. Others burst onto the scene and achieve notable success in their first race or season, becoming household names in Formula One like Craig Regazzano in 1970, John Alesi in 1989 and Michael Schumacher in 1991. These legendary drivers had a jump start that only a few can dream of during their rookie season. But today we'll be talking about Lewis Hamilton's debut season in 2007, in which he claimed a podium finish and won his first race in a few months, despite being under immense media pressure. Lewis Hamilton wins! Before we dive in, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to never miss a video. When McLaren team owner Ron Dennis visited the 1994 Aerosport International Awards, he was approached by a nine-year-old boy for an autograph. The young kart racer fearlessly looked the Formula One boss in the eye, shook his hand and said, I'm Lewis Hamilton and I just want you to know that I'd like to drive your car one day. I'd like to, let me, let me drive one of these cars. Dennis replied politely that he could talk after the youngster had won a few races, before writing, try me in nine years, in Hamilton's autograph book. Dennis secretly decided to keep an eye on the bold kid, who, as he later recalled, impressed the hell out of him. Hamilton started driving when he was eight years old. When he was 10, he won the British Kart Championship. Recognise me now, I'm Lewis Hamilton. Three years later, Hamilton was signed to the McLaren and Mercedes-Benz Young Driver Support Programme, where he received the training and support he needed to advance his career. From 1998 to 2000, he won European and World Karting titles, and at the age of 15, he became the sport's youngest ever number one driver. Hamilton moved on to car racing, where he won the British Formula Renault Race Series Championship in 2003 by winning 10 of the 15 races he competed in. He competed in the Formula 3 Euro Series Championship the following year. He won the championship in 2005, then in 2006 he joined a team racing in GP2, a race series meant to assist drivers preparing for F1 and he won the GP2 title in his first season there. What a race! That is the performance of the championship. In the end, Hamilton only needed three years to force Dennis's hand. After Hamilton won three British karting championships in a row, the F1 boss contacted to offer the promising racer a position in his team's young driver program. Hamilton's ambitious boyhood declaration became a reality when McLaren confirmed he would fill the position vacated by Ferrari-bound Kimi Raikkonen in 2007. Lewis made his Formula One debut on March the 18th, 2007 in Melbourne, Australia. Ron had spent the last six months intensely training Lewis in preparation. It paid off when he passed Alonso and a BMW driver at the first corner to take third place. He kept Alonso at bay for the majority of the race before succumbing to him during the second round of pit stops, where Alonso jumped him. Hamilton finished third, a fantastic result for a rookie in his maiden race. He was the first driver in the sport's 58-year history to make a podium finish in a maiden race. The 22-year-old from Hertfordshire excelled once more in the season's second race, which took place in Malaysia. He finished second, behind Alonso, but ahead of the two Ferraris he had passed. The next two races in Bahrain and Spain were won by Ferrari driver Philippe Massa, with Hamilton finishing second. The race was underway and it had quickly developed into a four-horse competition between Kemi Räikkönen and Philip Massa for Ferrari and Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton for McLaren. Problems arose in Monaco when Lewis was held back throughout the race to give Fernando the opportunity to take the lead over the rest of the pack. Lewis was irritated because he believed he was faster than Fernando and should have been allowed to race him properly. You know, I'm a racer, I wanna, I'll keep pushing right into the end. As a result, Alonso won his second race of the season, with Lewis finishing in second place. This sparked a fierce rivalry between the drivers. Lewis, on the other hand, came back in the next race, winning for the first time in Montreal. He qualified on the pole and went on to lead the entire race. Alonso finished seventh, putting his title ambitions in jeopardy. A week later, in Indianapolis, there was an American showdown. Lewis took the pole position after setting the best time in qualifying. Fernando was in the second car directly next to him. Both McLarens raced to the first corner as aggressively as they could, practically neck and neck. You can put a cigarette paper between the wheels. But with Hamilton on the racing line, Alonso had to settle for second place. Every time he was outperformed by the youngster, Alonso's resentment towards Hamilton and the team rose. Hamilton finished third in both France and Britain, losing to Ferrari's Kimi Räikkönen, and the European Grand Prix at the Nürburgring in Germany produced Hamilton's first result off the podium and outside the points with ninth place. 
The feud between Alonso and McLaren peaked at the Hungarian Grand Prix. Alonso came into the pits during qualifying to get new tyres. Hamilton arrived in the pit box behind him and had to wait. After a few seconds, Alonso was waved on by his mechanic, but he remained still. Is he blocking Hamilton here? He slowed Hamilton, who missed his final lap as a result, of which Alonso qualified first. Hamilton, the McLaren team, the press and the general public were all furious. The FIA docked Alonso 10 places. This set the tone for the rest of McLaren's season. Lewis led the title with three races remaining, after finishing fifth in Turkey and fourth in Belgium. Another victory came from an extremely rainy race in Japan. Lewis was 14 points ahead of Alonso, who did not finish, and 18 points ahead of Kimi Raikkonen, with two races remaining. That was the drive of a champion. Shanghai was the season's penultimate race. Hamilton was frantically attempting to maintain his lead. He would win the title if he won the race. A white stripe formed on Hamilton's right rear tyre as the last quarter of the race began. Because of the conditions, the tyre began delaminating. McLaren chose to let him run a few more laps before bringing him in for new tyres. Unfortunately for Hamilton, his lack of rear grip caused him to drift into the gravel trap. He goes straight on into the gravel trap. Can he keep the wheels spinning? He got his car stuck on the sand and couldn't get it out. Kimi Räikkönen won, with Fernando Alonso finishing second. The season's last race was set to be a showdown. Alonso, Hamilton and Räikkönen would compete in a three-way battle. The race in Brazil began at 5pm and practically the entire British public watched, as Lewis fought hard until his gearbox software failed. He's slowing! Impossible! Bringing the car to a halt for 18 seconds. Kimi Räikkönen won the race, with Alonso finishing third. Hamilton came in seventh place. The Ferrari driver Räikkönen had won the World Championship by a mere one point over both McLaren drivers.